What is a primary key? A primary key is a term that we use for databases, particularly when referring to tables that are essential for keeping information organized. In a database table, each row represents a unique record, like a person's information or a product's details. Each record will have fields that describe different aspects of that record, like the person's name, surname, or date of birth. Each table could have tons of records. We need a way to be able to find a specific record in a table, and that's where the primary key comes in. The primary key is a special field, or sometimes a combination of fields, that uniquely identifies each record in a table. It's like a fingerprint for each record, ensuring that no two records are the same. What are the characteristics of a primary key? A primary key must be unique. It must be unique for each record in the table. This means no two records can have the same value in the primary key field. A primary key cannot be blank or empty. You must make sure that every record will have a primary key value. You can't leave it out. So let's consider the following table about clients. Every record has a first name, surname, date of birth, email address, cell phone number, and ID number. Now let's try to determine which field would make a good primary key. Is it possible for two records to have the same first name? Yes. So then it can't be unique, so it's not possible to make it a primary key. The same goes for surname. Can two people be born on the same day? Yes. So not a good primary key. Can two people have the same email address? Let's assume they can't, but does everyone have an email address? In this table you can see that not everyone does, so it's not a suitable primary key field because the field can be empty. Can two people have the same cell phone number? Probably not. Does everyone have a cell phone number? Maybe. So this is a potential primary key, but only if we assume that everyone has a cell phone number. If we do end up making this a primary key field, then we will have to make a special rule that everyone must have a cell phone to have their data placed in our database. Now let's consider ID number. Can two people have the same ID number? Definitely not. Does everyone have one? Everyone does get allocated one, so it can't be blank. So I think this is a better option. It meets our two rules, and even though cell phone is also a potential option, I know everyone has an ID number. But I don't want to be in a situation in the future where I have to enter someone's data into a database and they don't have a cell phone number. But technically either one of these are suitable. Just one is slightly better, I think. Technically, if we force everyone to have an email address, then we could also have that as an option for a primary key. But not in this table because of the blank email fields. Now let's apply the knowledge again to the following table of products. Each record has a name, description, price, and stock available. Looking at these fields, name is potentially unique, but I can't guarantee that there will never be a product with the same name in the future. There are always chances that two products will have the same amount of stock available and the same price, so these are not good options for a primary key. Description is really awkward. It may be unique, it may not be, but it's way too long to have to type that all out. I wouldn't use it as a primary key field. Looking at this table, I can't see any record that is a suitable primary key. In this case, I think it's a good idea to make one. We want to create a new field called product ID. We could make it an automatic number, so 1, 2, 3, etc. Or we can just make it a unique code like TV001 and TV002, depending on the product. Now we have a unique field that we can use as a primary key. Ideally, once assigned, a primary key value should not change. Primary keys are used to quickly retrieve and manipulate data in a database, but they also play a crucial role in maintaining data integrity and ensuring the accuracy and reliability of the database. This is particularly the reason when used in relational databases. They are used to help connect two or more related tables so that it's easier for querying or finding information over multiple tables, and to make sure that the information in the database is accurate and reliable. Making a field into a primary key is really simple. In Microsoft Access, for example, you simply right-click on the selected field and choose the primary key option. Or you can select the field and then find the primary key button on the table design toolbar. When using SQL code to create or alter a table, you simply have to use the primary key keyword in your statement, as in this example of MySQL. And in Microsoft SQL Server, you can see that there's the keyword. Creating a primary key is easy. Choosing the right primary key is the real skill. And you can have that skill as long as you remember the two important rules regarding primary keys. The field must always be unique for each record, and it can never be blank or empty. That is the key. Another important key is to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms, and also follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. Leave a like, leave a comment, and tell us which computer term you want us to do next. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.